Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 4 of Swartz Machin. And I gotta say, each episode so far has gotten better and better each time. I did enjoy this episode, it had a little mixture of both, like different things. One thing, of course, the big main factor of this episode was pretty much that they brought um, Theodora, Theodora's sister, Lisa. And we see a little bit of their backstory, a little bit of how they're actually like stepbrother, stepsister, and how her father was like uh what, what was it like a distant relative to his mother and that's why he took him in when his i guess his parents were killed or something happened to them and that's how he became a family with them and you can see that there might be i don't know he always there's like a couple times he's been blushing he gets her stuff like he does he might have some romantic feelings for her in a way more than just siblings you know who knows, um, it didn't really show that much of it, so I can't really say for sure, but, um, it was just nice to see, like, at the beginning, it was kind of nice and peaceful, and, like, a more, not nice and peaceful, but more of a relaxed feeling for everyone in the fact that, you know, they're not fighting or crazy things going on. We did get a little bit of, you know, even Theodora thinks as well that she can be a spy, she might be a spy of the Stalsi, and that's why she, um, um, Idistina is pretty much making him, telling him to go and figure out if she is or not. He's the only one that can without pretty much alerting her in a way. So, yeah, it was it was pretty funny to see Lisa kind of try and act all nice and everything. You see, you saw her trying to dive more into Idistina and everything with Theodora, trying to tell you know him that she is a dog of the Stalsi and all that kind of stuff. But it was also funny to see those moments when, like, oh, you like, um, you like blondes with nice figures, right? Like, the captain over there. He's just like, what are you talking about? That was pretty funny, I have to admit. I, I kind of shipped Theodore and, um, I just, Dina. I could see that going on. I'm not too sure how the romance in this is or will there be any romance, but I could see them, you know, getting together because... I'm pretty sure the, the the relationship between him and Katya is more like a brotherly sister kind of thing. And it was nice to see him, like, you know, because she didn't want to say anything um, that, you know, Lisa is probably, uh, what's it called, a spy. And it was nice to see him talking to Katya and all that kind of stuff. And nothing's wrong with them as well either. Um, the second half was a full-on, like, it's a battle going on. It's pretty much the U.S. and Europe along with... Um, what's it called? West Germany, East Germany is kind of cooperating to fight off the, you know, beta and everything to reclaim and push out and everything. And it, it's pretty interesting. I love the politics in this anime is one of the things like how they are using, you know, East Germany as a shield. So they can't let them fall. Even if they are enemies, they can't let them fall because they're the shield protecting from the rest of Europe and everything. So it was cool to see how... You have the U.S. on one front, the EU on the other, and then the Warsaw, Warsaw Pact, I think. I, I, I remember that is a real thing, and um, it was with the Soviet Union and all that kind of stuff, so that's where East Germany is with. And it was interesting to see the different types of styles and fighting that they have. And also, the lieutenant, um, she was so stubborn and crazy, like, no, we have to do this. If, they, if we don't do this, then our political standing will they'll our reputation reputation all that stuff will, it's like you're gonna kill your people is that are you okay with that are you okay with losing people for this sake and everything and it was also interesting i guessing that's another character at the end is someone that we're gonna see more of someone from west germany she obviously hates east germany and i'm not too sure how much of a big impact she's gonna be on it but we'll have to wait and see for the next episode but yeah overall it was a good episode um, good seeing the interactions with Lisa and seeing the fact that everyone does think she can be a spy. She might be. And obviously, I think she is because we saw before. And it's cool to see every, you know, some of the flashbacks and see their past and everything. And then also go into this, the political thing with the West and East fighting each other. Yet also having an understanding that they need to push back the beta for each other's own, you know, what they want. East Germany because they don't, they want to live and survive and push them out and the west because they want to use the east as a shield so it does make sense it's pretty cool and i did like the action um as usual it's like that crazy everything's going crazy kind of action not, not like 
oh yeah, just, just badass is going out, but more like it's brutal and crazy, and someone might just die out of nowhere. And I do like that. So it so far, I have enjoyed the episodes, and it's been getting better and better each time. So hopefully, next episode will be even better than this one. I can't wait to see how it will be now. Maybe we'll introduce more people of the West because so far we've only got the people from the East, and the whole point of this was. You know, the East and West trying to unite and all that kind of stuff. That's what Katia wants. So, and Idis Dina and everyone else. So, I can't wait to see kind of interactions with the East and West as well. So, yeah. That's all I got to say, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this Anime Kingdom discussion and review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I miss you want to talk about, comment below as well. And until next time, guys. See ya.